What is up you guys? It's your girl Tyra and I'm coming back at you with another video. If this is your first time at my channel, welcome. I am so glad to have you. All right, you guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, I'm about to give y'all the real, real lowdown on living in L.A. So if you guys have not been on my channel before, I have been living in L.A. for about 18 months now, and I have a couple of videos about how I found my apartment and just life updates and things like that, so make sure you go and check those videos out. But today I am going to give you eight tips for moving to L.A. with no money. Get your pens and paper ready, y'all. So before we actually get into these eight tips, I want to clarify what we mean by no money because no money can mean different things. No money can mean I ain't got no money because I'm broke broke or I mean I ain't got no money to spend on XYZ but I can pay my rent. So this video is going to be geared towards people who have a little bit of money saved up but they are still going to kind of be on the struggle bus when they move out here to LA. So let's just get into these tips. Let me grab my grab my notes. I got everything on the computer so I can stay all organized for y'all. Okay so first I want to say this. If you can see yourself living anywhere else outside of LA, move there. And I say that because it is so many people out here and everybody is out here trying to do just about the same thing. And while there is ample opportunity, it can be discouraging to people who do have other options or see themselves living somewhere else. So to save you all of that trouble, go ahead and move to that place first. And if that place don't work out for you, then let's try LA. Who? Cool. Moving on. The first tip that I would give you guys is to reevaluate your decision to move to LA. Is this absolutely necessary for you to do? It's already a bold decision and moving out here and not having a bulk of money saved up is going to make it 10 times harder than it would have been if you would have stayed home or wherever you are now and saved up the right amount of money to relocate to Los Angeles. Moving with no money can put you at a huge disadvantage and having no money just adds struggle where struggle does not necessarily need to be. Can you afford to move to LA? Are you moving to LA because you're running from something? Are you running to something? What's the real reason that you are moving to LA? Because I can tell you one thing, if you're running from something, you're not going to find what you need in LA. You have to make sure that you are doing what you need to do in your life and within yourself to make sure that you're not just trying to run away from your past or run away from your problems because your problems will always find you. You got to try to get through those problems and work through them and become a better person. Okay, so story. Since I've been out here, I've met a few people that have moved out to LA and they just they just moved out here because all of their friends are moving out here or they were just like oh well I mean I can I ain't got nothing else to do so in results of doing that I've met a lot of people that have moved out here and started to complain or just gripe and have trouble with finding somewhere to stay or staying afloat or having money to just eat rent transportation just the bare necessities of living in any city and they end up moving back home tip number two Put your skills to work. I've made a couple of videos on my channel about how to make money in LA, how to become a brand ambassador and different things like that. Whatever skills you have, make sure that you take note of those and use them out here in LA. Some people move out to LA for a job. They have, say for example, you worked a job somewhere else. They can be relocated here, transferred here, or if it's like a restaurant or something, you can just go apply and say, hey, I worked at this same restaurant in New Jersey. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna get a job. There's so many jobs jobs out here. I don't think that it'll be a problem. If you want to know more about how I specifically make money in LA, make sure you check out my video on how to make money in LA and I'm going to link it up here. Make sure you watch that. So you can do brand ambassador work, Lyft, Uber, Postmates, Instacart. You can even be a virtual assistant. I met a girl that do sword swallowing for money. Get it by any means necessary. And I just found this out because I didn't want to be a server when I moved out here, but servers make 11 to $12 an hour plus tips out here in California. I know. Tip number three, make a plan and stick 
to it. I think this was the most efficient thing that I could have ever done moving out here to LA. When I moved out to LA, I had a plan for what I wanted to do and I stuck to it. And it was just something as simple as when Tal and I, Tal was my boyfriend if you do not know, when we moved out here to LA, we lived in an Airbnb for one month. Before I even bought my ticket, I said, okay, I know I'm not gonna have anywhere permanent to stay before I actually move out there because I want to experience looking at the apartments and seeing what my options are and looking at the communities. So we decided to book an Airbnb for one month. So we gave ourselves one month to find a permanent place to stay because I'm very goal oriented. As long as I got a goal and a timeline, I'm gonna get it accomplished. And that's just what we did because you can't hit a target that you do not have set for yourself. So we went out and found apartments and by the end of that one month we have found somewhere to stay so take that time to make sure that you are writing down your goals and writing down what you want to have accomplished by week one month one month two year one of living out in LA and use that as a guide and as long as you're guiding yourself you'll keep accomplishing those goals that you set for yourself tip number four be okay with being alone that sounds so sad and drab but it's actually not you guys are now entering the real world i'm assuming like people that are watching this video are just out of college like me and they're moving to a new place and this all of this information can be used for moving to any new place but you're not in college anymore so it's going to be a lot harder to actually make real friends it's not like you can just go to the calf or go to the student union and just say hey oh i like your shirt let's go hang out, let's study together. Oh, oh my God, we have the same class. You have to actually put in the work to make friends out here. And I know you guys have probably heard this, but LA has a lot of people that are very opportunistic and they are trying to get what they can out of people but at the end of the day, if you're doing stuff that you like to do and being around like-minded people, people will gravitate towards you and you will find your friend circle. Don't get discouraged because it takes a while. That's just a part of being in the real world and it's actually pretty fun. When you first move out to California, you wanna get your bearings. You wanna learn what you like about the city, what you don't like about the city because once you know what you like and what you don't like, you'll be able to put yourself in the right situations and you won't end up regretting it a year later and saying oh my gosh I wasted all this time doing things that I don't even care about doing so from the beginning be okay with going to adventures by yourself going out to eat by yourself going hiking running canyon by yourself because everyone is trying to network and meet new people and you're bound to find somebody that has the same interests as you tip number five don't be spending money that you really don't have. Y'all already didn't move to LA with not a lot of money, all right? So don't be spending money that you do not have. Do you have money to pay your rent? Do you have money to feed your face? Do you have money to get to more money? If you don't have money to do those things, then you don't need to be going to the club. You don't need to be going to this red carpet event. You don't need to be buying this new whatever to post a picture on Instagram to be flexing and all this stuff because you live in L.A. You don't need to be going out to eat. You don't need to do any of these things. You have to be smart with your money, y'all. Just be smart with your money. Tip number six, alter your spending habits. Now, now that you've moved to LA and you have the bare bones of what you need and you've settled down wherever it may be a friend's couch or you found a place, you may want to start buying more stuff. That's just what we do as humans. But you want to make sure that you're not doing that so you can save up and actually have money to buy the things that you need. If it's not food, rent, or transportation, you don't need to be buying it. A lot of people will be asking you to go out since you just got here to learn the city and all those kinds of things. That stuff will come. Just take your time. You don't have to rush and go do all of these things. I'm telling you, red carpets happen all the time. Famous people have parties all the time. They're it's always going to be something that you can go to. Take this time to really take a moment and just take it all in. Take all in everything that you're going through. You just made a huge move. You just moved all the way to Los Angeles, California. And also, don't take out loans. Oh my gosh. Payday loans or cash advances and all that stuff, they are not your friend. Interest rates are super high. I've even heard of people 
pawning off their computers and cameras and these are creatives people who use their computers and cameras to do auditions record videos and things like that that can possibly bring in more money and they pawned it off because they felt like they had no other option there is always another way even if you feel super desperate there's always another way like i said earlier check out my video on how to make money in la and you can make I literally walk around and take pictures of now hiring signs on my cell phone and I get paid for that. There is always a way to make money. Tip number seven is to trust yourself. I know when I first moved out to LA, one of the biggest fears that I had was not having anyone out here to trust. I didn't know anyone. I mean, I knew a couple of people, but actually having someone that you can trust, I did not have that but in these last 18 months of living in LA I have learned to trust myself more than ever before I know that I have my best interest in heart I know that I'm always gonna be on my team and I'm not saying that I don't trust anyone but in those moments when you feel like you don't have anyone to trust know that you have yourself trust in yourself to make those wise decisions and to get you from point A to point B and to keep leveling up and finally tip number eight know your why why did you move to la do you have a dream do you have a goal do you have a desire that burns so deeply that you cannot see yourself doing anything else but being in la and accomplishing that goal all of the answers to those questions is what's going to motivate you to keep going it's what's going to motivate you to get to the coin that you need to pay your rent and your bills and your food transportation all of that stuff and knowing all the answers to those questions will show you all of the distractions the facades and the obstacles that you have to get through to get to the goal so I go to one church with Toure and Sarah Jakes Roberts, and I absolutely love this church. And right now he's teaching on atmosphere. And last Sunday, he said something that really, really stuck with me. He said to just ask yourself, does this aid my atmosphere? And if it does not, then it's not for you. And I really believe that if you just use that in your daily life, as far as knowing your why, or even altering your spending habits, or any of the other tips that I've given you guys, that will help keep you on the path that you need to be on to get to the goal. Those are all of my tips, but the overall message of this video is to move to a place, especially with no money. You have to be very disciplined and you have to become the best decision maker possible because you always have a decision and there's always a right and a wrong decision for you amen so i'm super excited because this video was sponsored by xbox and they actually sent me one of their all new all digital consoles you guys and i have a fun fact for you guys did you know that playing video games improves your decision making skills and it makes your mind sharper what who would have knew that? So scientists find action gamers are apparently better at making quick and accurate decisions and that can definitely help you out here in LA. So playing games like Mortal Kombat, Crash Bandicoot, don't judge me, that's my game. And Grand, even Grand Theft Auto can improve your decision making skills. So I'm excited to have this console and I have over 2,200 games to choose from. All I have to do is download a title to my console and play. I just love how easy the console is. The controller is wireless. You don't even have to have CD, so no more scratches, no more having to make sure that you even have the CD to play the game. You can download it to the system. My system is one terabyte and I I am so excited it came in a nice gray color and it's just so cute and it looks so good on my entertainment center so now I can invite friends over and relive my childhood with all of these great titles and if y'all did not know me and my brother were heavy gamers as a kid so when Xbox reached out to me I was literally like screaming my head off but I'm super excited I hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any questions please put them in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this on my channel, let your girl know, give it a like, make sure you subscribe to the channel and put down in the comments what you actually want to see. Because at the end of the day, your girl is here for y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.